If you turn the clock to a few decades back, you can see a lot of vehicles with wire spoke wheels, including some cars like this gorgeous Jaguar F-Type. But these days, other than on a particular class of motorcycles, manufacturers have stopped using the wire spoke wheels. So today, we will see why some motorcycles still uses them and why many of them don't. Today, the wire spoke wheels are mostly found in adventure motorcycles and occasionally on some modern retro classics. And there is a good reason for that. The wire spoke wheels are more durable than a single piece cast alloy wheel. Let me explain. A wire spoke wheel mainly consists of three parts. First, the rim, upon which we mount the tire. Second, the spokes, which we use to connect the rims to the third component of the wire spoke wheel, the hub. Due to the nature of this design, the wire spoke wheels are less rigid than a single piece cast alloy wheel, making them more flexible. This allows a wire spoke wheel to absorb more impact than an alloy wheel. On your daily commute, where it is highly unlikely to find a wheel bending riding situation, the above mentioned benefits don't hold much significance. But in a tricky off-road condition, the durability factor matters a lot, making them an ideal choice for adventure bikes. The other benefit of the wire spoke wheel is the maintenance. Suppose on one of your off-road excursions, you manage to bend the wheel. If it's an alloy wheel, you will have to buy a whole new wheel. But in the case of a wire spoke wheel, you can repair it with the help of an expert wheel builder, instead of replacing the whole wheel. But the wire spoke wheels do have some disadvantages which makes them less desirable for vast majority of applications. First of all, the wire spoke wheels are expensive to make, since it requires multiple parts and assembly making them less viable for large-scale production. The second disadvantage is that, since they are less rigid than alloy wheels, the wire spoke wheels are not the best choice for handling high amounts of power and speed. The solid, inflexible nature of the single-piece cast alloy wheels helps it to perform much better in turns, especially at higher cornering speeds where stability and consistency are paramount. The third disadvantage is that the wire spoke wheels are comparatively heavier, which increases the unsprung mass of the motorcycle thereby negatively affecting its handling. Also, it is really hard to make the wire spoke wheel tubeless compatible since it requires complex design again pushing the cost up. 